Hello everyone, welcome to the GOE Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the GOE Ecologist. So, in today's session on settlement geography, we are going to look into the environmental issues and challenges of rural settlements. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel because we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography on our channel. So let's go ahead and learn about the environmental issues in rural settlements. But also don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with others as well. So now let's talk about the various aspects of environmental issues or we say challenges in the rural settlements. Now before this lecture we have already talked about the factors affecting the settlements in rural areas also its various types, patterns, spacing, compactness these things we have already learned in the previous lectures. Now we are looking into the challenges of rural areas especially. So if you look into these pictures what do you observe? The typical agricultural pattern and also the land usage in rural areas, the problems of the land degradation and also the unavailability of moisture, also at the same time the problems of rural floods, right? Then what you observe is the drinking water facility, the problems of the waste and their burning and disposal, also the mining areas as well as the waste disposal sites, also deforestation and several other issues. Right. So what you observe, there is a plethora, there is a collection of these environmental issues that is happening in the rural areas of the world and India. Right. So what you observe here that people who live in rural areas are usually more aware. Right. Of what? Of their limitations of their natural environment and also because they live in so close to it. We say that rural people live in sync with the nature. Right. In a synchronization. So they understand the rural environment better than any other person, right? So what you observe that it is easier to see the damage that human activities may do to the resources and which resources are important to them if you look into the rural areas, right? So people are aware about that how they are using and how the changes are happening. But the idea is that how are we growing, how are we developing and what are the issues and challenges faced by rural communities in today's world? When the world is looking towards development, world is looking towards urbanization, right? So rural areas are facing some challenges. So what are those issues? Let's understand. So most of the rural areas if you observe or rural environment will have number of environmental resources. So in points if you understand land used for agriculture and food production, then forest or woodland areas, natural areas with native vegetation. Remember native vegetation is very important, the indigenous vegetation and animals and also some freshwater features like stream, river, lake, right? And also maybe coastal areas if it is coastal village, coastal rural areas. Right? So these are some of the areas which is related to environmental resources. Now what is happening to these resources is the concern here. Right? So with growing population what is happening the need for resources also grows at the same time. So there is pressure on the resources. Right? So there is a linkage between three important factors. If you observe 3P factor. P for poverty, P for population and then population, poverty and then we say is resource relationship. Right. So this population poverty and resource relationship is the PPR, not three P's, but PPR in short way you can say. So poverty, population and resource is intricately linked. Right. So if you want to understand that what is this challenge in rural areas or issues in rural areas, we can figure it out in certain headings. So let's look into it one by one. So the first one is the forest and range management. Now what are the issues here if you observe the quantity and the quality both of them alternating and conflicting issues right and also forest and grassland reserves are under threat and severance taxes and grazing fees which is also applied in certain pockets of the world right then if you observe soil conservation because soil degradation land degradation has overtaken in many areas of the world right so soil quantity as well as quality management then off-site impacts and sediment transport, 
remember sedimentation and sediment transport erosion very important factor then if you look into the next heading is mineral management in rural areas so if you remember mining areas conflicts with other land uses then reclamation and pollution obviously is a problem then mineral reserves and severance taxes applied on it then further if you observe is water resources and its problem in rural areas so surface and ground quantity and quality all of them right so chemicals toxins salinity irrigation supply pricing conflict between user and usage so this is where very important aspect is and remember we all are looking into water stress areas of the world look at africa look at the developing countries what is happening water stress is a serious issue then further if you observe is the recreational part where people go to the countryside rural areas for recreation so what's happening the access quality and quantity conflict and user fees these things are the aspects to be taken care of right so there are challenges in these sectors then further if you observe is the land use right so great impact of population change is on the land use so where you find urbanization conflicts waste disposal biomass production farm and non farm conflicts right this is what is happening around the world and india then further if you observe human health now in rural areas we don't have facilities we know that right so what happens pesticide residues antibiotics in animal products occupational health and also release of new genetic material plastic pollution and several others is creating ruckus in terms of health right then further if you observe is the protection of unique species or habitat in biodiversity conservation rural areas are very important so what do we do wetland coastal areas endangered species and several factors that we learn in biological diversity conservation and also development preservation conflicts so we keep observing that some animal has entered some village some leopard has entered some village so all these things so man and its surroundings if you observe what is happening in rural areas this kind of relationship that we if you observe so what is happening more of conflict with the wild animals this is happening right and the last one is the greatest one which is we are looking into is global climate change right so air pollution global warming acid rain and management of extreme events if you look into these kind of representations that we make through images so the world is changing fast and most of the impact is being faced by rural areas and remember if rural areas are not doing well urban areas will not do well why because surplus from rural area comes to the urban areas the food security economic security it's all dependent upon how we are doing in the rural sector especially in country like india where we have the traditional agricultural system still prevalent monsoon dependency still prevalent so we need to work out on the factors and also look into these challenges of various sectors right so what you observe some of the major chunks in global rural environmental issues for example domestic waste now this waste disposal and management has been one of the major areas of concern across the world right so it's the most widespread environmental problem and it is varying with population size and also safe disposal of liquid domestic wastes particularly human waste and urban sewage is still to be taken care of right so what you observe remember few developing countries have adequate waste collection and treatment facilities but most of them don't have this facility right then further in spite of considerable efforts of rural sanitation remember in india we have swachh bharat abhiyan going on already right but still facilities in many rural areas are still rudimentary or entirely lacking so we need to work out on these sectors then further if you observe the result is serious water pollution of both fresh water supplies like underground water like spring river ground water wells and even rain water catchments so what happens in areas where river is there there it is all dependent upon these sources and while in coastal areas the problems around beaches reefs and lagoons are that is related to the recreation tourism and fishing where the problems are there right so domestic waste disposal is a big problem then if you observe that it is linked to human health right so waste disposal has a great linkage with human health right this pollution leads to a lot of impact on human health then further if you observe the forest cover loss is a widespread world level problem not just india right so this is what we are looking into that forests are logged for local use or export shifting cultivation and uncontrolled fires in many places across the world you have observed so what you find that these are the major problems and also many subsidiary problems such as water shortage soil erosion loss of habitat and endangered species these are linked with the forest 
if you don't have a healthy forest system, a forest ecosystem, then these subsidiary problems obviously are going to take a toll. Then further, what our problem is land use and land tenure. Now what you observe, the land use system is getting day by day changed and remember the indigenous variety of the land uses is changing to the new variety of land uses. So what's happening in rural areas, productive land is usually the most important resource for people. But what is happening? It must be used efficiently, which is not used efficiently. It's not able to meet the needs of growing people, right? The need for food, water, building, materials, quality of life. So what is happening? It is being neglected and the land use transformation is creating a lot of problem across the world, right? So human habitat and infrastructure, the further related aspect, remember particularly involving housing and sanitation has a lot of problems. Then what you observe that rural areas often lack these essential infrastructure like connectivity, accessibility, depending upon roads and other infrastructure facilities. So this is another problem. Right. So what you observe, the pressure on migration to urban areas is also resulting into overcrowding of cities. Right. And also during this pandemic, we have observed that people went reverse, especially in some states in India. But remember, they again had to come back to the urban areas. Why? Because there are not enough opportunities available in rural areas. So people are eventually going to migrate back to urban areas and urban areas are getting overcrowded. So it is creating urban problems, which we are going to look into separate lectures on urban, right? So what happens? This is a global problem structure that we observe. Now let's look into some specific local rural issues. For example, the fishery issues, destruction of productive coastal resources, right? Coastal erosion and also seagrass beds being dredged or silted over. Mangroves are being killed in many areas of the world, right? So what do you observe? Fisheries and coastal erosion. You observe these kind of problems. These images are very common. If you look into the Google search images, you'll find several such images where roads, buildings, scarce agricultural land, coastal erosion. These are the major problems in local areas of the world, right? Then what you observe, these two factors, the mining and the industrial pollution, right? So what you observe in mining, the disposal of mine wastes, the tailings, process waste, erosional problems, all these are major problems. Apart from that, there is also abandonment of these unusable wastelands once the mining is ended. So it renders the land degraded. So land degradation is a big problem in mining areas and industrial pollution. Of course, the industrial pollution has to be looked into the picture. Textile dyeing, dangerous air pollution and smelting operations, they all lead to several industrial wastes. Also industrial waste flows into the water. So as we know that water pollution, Ganga river pollution is very famous in this term, right? So what you observe in various areas of the world, in mining areas and industrial areas of the world and India, these local challenges are the big challenges, right? So this management is needed to be taken care. And then looking into the way forward that if these are the problems in rural areas, then what is the solution? What is the way forward? The sustainable practices that we say, right? Sustainable development, the work towards sustainability of local resources. So this is what we need to look into. So it is clear that solution to these problems, if you observe, right? The sustainable resource usage is the solution and it will require what? The management skills and good scientific understanding of local environment that we say is education and awareness is the major factor, right? So we must increase efforts to restore damaged resources. That's the one point. And it's not just enough. As non-renewable resources such as fossil fuels run out will be again dependent upon the renewable sources of energy. And remember for that rural economy, rural land use needs to be strengthened, right? That if we can fall back on that in future or not. Because when the fossil fuels are out, we will be again dependent upon agriculture and forestry and other land usage. Right. So eventually we need to strengthen our renewable energy sector. Right. So rural areas can therefore become a potential model for future. It means the future is not urban. The future is strengthening the rural, the countryside, the land usage, which is more close to nature. Right. So that is our way forward. So if you want to develop that is sustainably develop, we must understand that rural development is going to be the core, right? Not just the urban development. That's very important to understand here. So now, when we have discussed in details the various aspects of the rural environmental issues, in the sessions to come, we'll be also talking on the aspects of urban morphology. So stay tuned, stay safe, keep watching and learning, and don't forget to press the like, and also please share the videos with others as well.